Hi, it's Lorna, and today we're going to be exploring art crayons. Art crayons are a lot like watercolor, and they're a lot like oil pastels. They do both. Um, so if you're a fan of watercolor pencils, watercolor paint, or oil pastels, these might be something great for you. Um, they're also known as mixed media crayons. Um, you can get them from a few different brands. These ones that I have here are by Marabou. I just have a piece of watercolor paper taped down because I'm going to be using these a lot like watercolor. So they go on a lot like painting with lipstick. Um, for those of you who don't know anything about makeup, um, they're kind of a smooth but waxy. They glide really easy. Um, they're very buttery. So they, they put down a lot of pigment really quickly. So you can see I'm, I'm barely putting any pressure on here and I'm just able to go over my paper and spread a lot really, really fast. So um, I feel like this is a really great application for doing backgrounds for cards and printmaking. I think this is a great application for just doing a background for any kind of artwork, maybe doing a journal. Um, a background for any kind of mixed media paper would be really cool. There's also a technique where you can use these as with a stencil as a resist. Um, and I'm going to be cutting some stencils to do that with uh, later on in the week. So look for that video. So as you can see, I'm just mostly using them like crayon right now. I'm um, just kind of jaggedly layering them on. I want to see how much movability these really have. So I'm not being very careful, just kind of scribbling on the color, laying color around. This is going to be an Aurora Borealis. So I am adding a lot of blues and greens. I'm layering. And I'm gonna add some mountains down at the bottom. I'm trying to keep it really simple just so that we can see how these art crayons really work. And you can use these to make any picture that you want. You can be precise. Um, they are very buildable. I've found that I can do a base layer and then I can go back in and add more. I can also re-wet and lift out pigment to an extent, which is really fun. Um, so you can have a really dark area and then lighten, which you'll see later on when I'm adding the white for the stars, is I lift out some of the blue pigment at the top, so. So I just have a larger brush that I have wet. I'm not being very careful or precise here. I'm just trying to blend the colors together. I'm wiping off the black at the end just so that I don't drag it back through my picture. I want this to be streaky. So the streaks are very intentional. Um, when I look at pictures of Aurora Borealis, it has a lot of vertical lines of where um, the green kind of goes up into the sky. So I'm going to be trying to get that effect with um, just some large brush strokes here that are going in a, an upwards motion. So I'm pulling the green upwards. And you can add more green, you can add more color on top. Um, I'm not being very careful of where I am painting, just because I want to see how forgiving these materials are. 
they are not a material that you can be very precise with when you're adding it because the it's very thick um about the size of a pencil but I, I suppose you could probably trim them or cut them or use them directly from the tube which you'll see me do later um, i use a paintbrush and just water on this white crayon here so that i can add it uh, use it just like watercolor or acrylic paint even and do some splatters so i'm going in and adding more white for my stars in the center and then just brushing out some of these brush strokes a little bit more. It dries down relatively quickly as it absorbs into the paper. Um, I could totally go in on top of this with some acrylic paint or a gel pen or something like that and it would, it would stick for sure. Um, a lot of times when you're using oil pastels, they can be really waxy and they will resist a lot of different materials. So they'll resist watercolor even. So you don't want to use those with watercolor, but these have that smear ability of the oil pastels, but they, instead of resisting the watercolor, they blend with the watercolor. So that's pretty interesting. And you can see with just putting the white directly in the center, I was able to get a lot of really nice smudgy cloud-like lines. And that's just with blending with the pastel over top of the blue that I have on the background. So I'm just building up a reflection so that it looks like there's water below. I'm adding a lot of um, greens and blues into the water so that it looks like the aurora is reflecting. Um, having a really dark mountain down at the bottom is going to really help break that apart. And then I'm going to go in with my white crayon and I'm going to add some stars to the top so you'll see that. And I just take water and add it directly to the tube and then flick it with my finger so that it makes lots of little tiny stars all throughout. So it looks like the nighttime sky. So I hope you had fun experimenting with art crayons with me and that you try this material. Um, highly recommend uh, these Marabou ones. They're really, really creamy. I have tried some of the other brands that are available and I like these a lot because they are you get a lot more product for your money um, they're not really that inexpensive they're about four dollars per crayon uh, so if you're planning on trying them out maybe use a coupon uh, or and you can buy them in singles or packs of four so you might just want to buy a few colors and experiment with them with your regular watercolor paints so I hope you enjoyed this video and that you like and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos, uh, please hit the notification bell. And thanks for watching.